All right, welcome back to Own The Wire. Today we're gonna to talk about the new R20 massage gun. You guys heard about these, so let's jump in and talk about the pros and cons. Here we go. So here's what comes inside of the box when you get it. Again, they have the really cool carrying case that you could have right here. Most people are selling this separate. This is the bonus piece that comes inside. They also have the instructions and then everything you need. They have three different tips for this. It also comes with the charger that you rarely have to use because this thing stays charged. I've had this for about six months. I've used this a lot and I've only had to recharge this one time. Now to quickly go over what each tip does, it comes with the ball head, which is just the normal ball head. Now this is used for overall use. You can use this anywhere. Now again, no matter which one of these you use, I would not recommend using this anywhere near or on a bone area because this will not feel good on a bone. Now, you have this, which is overall use. You also have the flat tip. Now, the flat tip is for more tender areas or near bones. Again, you don't wanna directly put this on any bone area, but if you are getting near the bone area and it's sore or something like that, you wanna use the flat tip. Now, it also comes with what I call the bullet tip. Now, the bullet tip is for lower back and trigger point therapy. What that basically means is if you're going to use this to hit pressure points, you don't wanna use this. You could use it, but it's not gonna be as effective as this going directly on that trigger point. Now, also, if you're using this in the lower back area, this thing works really well. Is just as much as this one does, but it just depends. You have to play with this to see which one is gonna give you the best comfort level. Now, I use this one predominantly just because I really like it. And then when it does come to lower back area, I will switch between these two, but I pretty much use this on my quads, my thighs, my calves, my back muscle areas, my traps, things like that. But again, this thing is just overall amazing. Now, when you take this out of the box, you're gonna see it also has on the back, this is how you can tell if it's charged or what intensity you're using it for. Now, again, when you plug this up, you're going to see that this point is what goes into the charger here, and then this is what you'll plug into the wall. But in order to get this to work, you have to hold down the power button. One, two, three. No more than three seconds. It automatically starts in low, but that's how much battery I have. Now, I have not charged this in over two months, and I've used this probably 10 to 12 times over the last two months. Now, it doesn't drain at all, and I'm telling you, battery life on this is amazing. Now, you hold this down for at least two to three seconds to power it on, but then when you wanna switch the intensity, you just hit it once, it goes up, you hit it again, it goes up, you hit it again, and that's maximum. Now, again, to go back down, you just hit it again and it will go back to level one. To turn it off, one, two, three, same thing, hold it down for two to three seconds and it will power off. Now, when you pull this out and want to look on the inside, there's nothing obstructing anything. This thing simply just goes on here, you put it on, push it through, and it's good to go. Hold it down for two or three seconds, and it's just going. Again, hit the button once, intensify it. Again, intensify it. Again, intensify it. Now, when you're done with that and you hold the button down and you wanna interchange it, again, I have another one that's just really hard. It has a bracket that you put on to take it off, but not this. You simply slide it off. If you wanna put in the next one or you wanna put in the next one, whichever one, again, push it in. One, two, three, power on, and you're ready to roll. Now, the one thing I do like about this and how it does come with the, the carrying case is that when I get through using this and I wanna just stack everything, I can easily just put this here, put this back in. Well, I think you actually wanna put this at the bottom because that helps you pull it out easier when you need to use it. So when you pull it out like that, you push it in, 
If you want to pull it out really easy, and the reason you want to put this at the bottom is because then all you have to do is lift this up and now you got it. So make sure if you really want to get this out easy and not struggle with it, lay this down when you're putting this inside. I do a lot of running. I do a lot of exercise. I'm not a big gym person, but I am someone who loves to do a lot of cardio. When I get back in, my legs hurt, my upper back, my lower back hurts sometimes. And when I get this massage gun put on me, I'm telling you it might hurt for a little bit while it's getting done, but it hurts in such a good way. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you understand that good feel pain. But at the end of the day, this thing works. Now, just be careful with this. I do wanna tell you, don't put this like on your chest area over your heart, things like that, because this thing vibrates. And if you turn it up, it can get intense and you don't wanna mess with the heart area. Definitely don't put it on your face either. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing this on places where you have muscle. If you put this on a place where it's going to hit bone, it's going to hurt and you don't wanna do that. So I hope this video was useful and I hope this video helps you make a better decision before you go out and spend your hard-earned money. Again, this has been another production from Ondawire. I'm out.